Welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I want to show you my solar pulse motor. Uh, as you may know, I have built several of these pulse motors in the past, and uh, the difference with this one is that the source of energy is the solar panels. The base of the motor is a couple of solar panels and this provides the energy for this motor to work. The way in which these motors work is uh, rather simple, I will explain it again. It is made of a coil, we have the rotor with two magnets, one at each side, and we also have this element which is a reed switch or magnetic switch. When the rotor is moving and it is close to the coil, in that moment the coil is energized and pulls the magnet, giving a kick to the rotor. Then the motor, the rotor continues its rotation due to its inertia. The coil uh, goes off and when the other magnet again is about to come to this position, the coil uh, goes on again, pulling the rotor, and in that way, it rotates continually. It receives a kick every half revolution. Now, how can we make the coil to turn on and off at the precise moment? Well, that is uh, why we have this magnetic switch when the rotor is about to uh, reach the coil this other magnet uh, turns on the magnetic switch the circuit closes and the coil fires then the rotor moves the magnet is away from the magnetic switch and the coil goes off Therefore, we need to position the magnetic switch at the right place for the coil to turn on just when the magnet is about to arrive. And I have one of the connections is this thick copper wire so that it can be bent and the magnetic switch put in the correct position. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The little coil is from this solar toy. The body of the toy is attached to a pendulum with a magnet and the movement makes all the body of the toy oscillate. And the magnetic force that acts on the magnet is provided by the coil. The wire of the coil is extremely thin, so you have to be careful not to break it close to the body of the coil. This particular motor has a magnetic suspension. The rotor has a couple of neodymium magnets inside, whose polarity is the same as the other magnet at the base, so they repel each other and the rotor floats above the ring magnet. With this arrangement, the, we have a very low friction and that is good for any motor, in particular this motor that has very low power generated from the cells. The less friction, the better. Since I am recording indoors, there is no sunlight, so I will use this incandescent lamp to provide the light necessary for the solar cell to work.
Okay, so there you have it. Solar pulse motor. It will work as long as it has a source of light. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.